before I even take you on the ground or take you inside or anything, I want to show you what I've got for you today. An amazing farm. They call it Peaceful Acres. I'm going to tell you what I call it in just a minute. So hold tight. Don't touch that dial. If this farm is perfect for you, great. Call the number right here at the bottom. If it's not right for you, perfect. Get on our mailing list and you're going to know about these properties before anyone else does, before the general public. The sellers call this place Peaceful Acres. I'm going to tell you what I call it. Perfect Acres. Not because it's just an idyllic setting. And it's out here in the country and you can sit on the wraparound porch and watch your horses. But because the house is perfect. Do you have an engineer in your life? I, I've got a lot of friends who are engineers. And they're like real persnickety about everything. This guy, I said to him just a little while ago. I was like, are you an engineer? Because everything is just... He's gone over this house with a fine tooth comb. I'm not goofing around here. I'm telling you. Every little screw is tightened and pieces of thing is painted. And it's... I, you can't believe it until you see it. You look around here, and I challenge you, if you can find something that's off, I'll give you a buck or five bucks. Or maybe I'll buy you a beer or something. I, well, of course, we're in Kentucky, so I have to buy you bourbon. Look at this horse barn here. You see the walk-around porch, right? Perfect. Concrete, smooth as glass. And then you look right on out here to this barn. 60 by 80. Look at that horse barn. Oh, my gosh. There's your horses. You got tons of power out there. I'm going to show you everything. It's got its own meter. It's a utility building, so it's got a, a special rate on the on the utilities. I think. Yeah, verify that with Jeremy. And there you got horses out there. There's 20 acres here, and I've got my cheat sheet. Uh, four bedrooms, but really six. So you got four plus two more. Four bedrooms plus two more if you need them. How cool is that? And then you got four baths. Four full baths, 20 acres, 11 acres fenced. Come on, we'll go up and we'll go up for a quick flight. And it's and it's all fenced. It's got high tensile with anti-garret coating or something. I don't know. The horse people will know exactly what that means. And then the interior fences are uh, wire rope, uh, which is electric. So it's all electrified. And then over here on the side. I'm pointing here with my finger, but I'm probably going to fly it and show you, is the stallion fence, and that's six feet high. So, I remember being a stallion. Oh, no, that's that's totally different, Joe. So, uh, <laughs> that was many years ago. <laughs> I'm not a stallion much anymore. Look at how beautiful this is. Just sweet as it can be. It's huge. So, you got 1,600 square feet on the main floor. You got 1,600 square feet in the basement. You got 1,600 square feet in upstairs, and then there's like another 450 square feet as a bonus room. 13, 13 by 35 bonus room. So Jeremy's going to tell you exactly how big it is for real, you know, the legal terms of how big it is, but let me tell you, it's big. And I'll show you what I mean. When I say that, you come in here, I mean, everything is spotless, and you're going to get sick of me saying it, so I'm not going to say it anymore. You just have to come see the property. Give us a phone call right here. Come and look at it. Say, hey, I want to see the perfect place. Jeremy will know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, so you got this huge entry hall with a coat closet. Of course, everything operates perfectly. Everything's neat as a pin. These people are retired. So if you're a retired person, you will appreciate this. And then you've got this, this open door deal here, French doors. This room could be used for a granny suite. Uh, it could be used for a library. Me, personally, I would probably use it for a home office. What would you use it for? Tell me. Put, put it down here in the comments. You know, I would use this for home office. So maybe you're a professional. Maybe you're an attorney or something like that, a CPA. You'd probably use that room just for that. But if you have multi-generational, you might use it for that, too. So you've got that room. And then huge living room here. There's so many bonus rooms in here. I'm going to call this the living room. Then there's another living room. Again, looks out over the, the barns. High speed internet. I've got at and I've got LTE out here. It's fine. Basement, eh, not so much. But on the main floor, upstairs, outside, I mean, anywhere in the house, you've got great cell service. You're way out in the country, but you're not removed. Everybody wants the seclusion, but they don't want to be removed. They don't want to have to drive half 
an hour for a gallon of milk or something like that, that's not a problem here. Great kitchen. I'm a cook, you know that. So you know that I'm all about the, the work triangle. Is it far from here to there? This is a very workable kitchen, very nice. And then right into the dining room. Oh yeah. You got windows everywhere. The light in here is just fantastic. Let's go on down here. I'll show you the, uh, but even this hallway. I, if I was the builder, I would have never spent the money to do this. And, but it's all done. It's so nice. It's really a luxurious deal here, having that, having that many windows. So, you get the vacuum or whatever that is. I have no idea even what that is. You tell how, how much I clean my house. I have no idea even what that machine is. Pantry. And then a door straight out to the back. We were here a couple months ago, and I said, you know, the door needs to be painted. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to replace it. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So that's kind of how uh, persnickety these people are. The door got replaced instead of painted. So here are these doors here. I'll show you this, right? So you got this French dory thing. And then I'll show you the... I'm here. I'm, let's, let's go on up. Stop talking, Brad. Just show me. This is the bonus room, 13 by 35. It is longer than my house. Look at that. Zoom! So here again, multi-generational. Maybe you got a son and daughter-in-law or something. They got access to the washer dryer, full bathroom. The door out. Done. If you got a big family, this is a property you need to come look at. Right on out to the garage. Now this is, this is cool, I like this. Nice high ceiling, so you could put racks and stuff in here. If you're into that, you know, you can put your pantry stuff or your uh, chainsaw or whatever up on racks. They got two good sized doors, and then you've got what I call a lawnmower door. You know, it might, you might put a tractor in there. You might put, you might put a workshop. Look at this. So that's what he's got. He's got a workshop with an overhead door. Dude, and you know it's important if I say dude. What do we got here? Oh, just under the stairs. But a 36 inch door here, and for under the stairs. Awesome. A lot of details like that make a big difference. You move into a house and you say, oh, it's got a door there, but then it's so narrow you can't do anything with it. This one's got it all figured out. So 1,600 feet is not out of question, right? That's a very normal size for house, but you got it three times. <laughs> you got full basement. Look how nice this is. You got full basement and then a full upstairs. Come on, I'll show you that too. You're gonna like it. All laminate floors, so easy to clean. Master bedroom. That's a giant piece of furniture. So I'm kind of like looking around it here. <laughs> master bedroom, master bath. Oh, you're gonna love this. If you're very single, you're gonna love this. And if you're very not single, like I'm very not single, you're gonna like this. You got a deck out here. Look at this. You can overlook the stallion sheds. You can overlook the garden. You can overlook some of the fields over on this side. And then the property line goes back, I don't know where, but you'll see in the aerial. I'll stick a little aerial here and show you the barn going backwards or backwards going forward to the barn, whatever. Okay, but a nice, nice thing with this all French door. So why are you gonna like this bathroom? Well, a lot of privacy and One closet, tile floor in the closet. Really? Yeah, really. Tile floor in the closet. So that's the one side, the hers. Here's the his side. Look at this. Why do the girls always get the bigger closets? 
I want you to tell me. <laughs> it's, it's a phenomenon of nature. <laughs> but anyway, that's why you're going to like this bathroom. Separate walk-in closet. Oh, come here. There's more. Another great bath. Tile. Beautiful bedroom. Big double closet deal. Oh, there I am. Hey, hello. Does that mirror make me look fat? Oh, sorry, never mind. That's different. That different story. Different story. Uh, huge. This is no. This is seriously huge. Look at the size of this thing. And then access to a little attic area up there as well. I say little. I have no idea. You ain't getting me up there. They do not make those hatches in Brad size. Now this is a, a perfectly wonderful normal bedroom and a closet, but maybe you could use this for a nursery or something, or maybe a sewing room, or what would you use it for? I don't know, some kind of craft room, maybe another home office. Maybe you both have, oh man, what size is this? I knew there was a big closet up here, but I didn't realize it was the whole size of the bedroom. So look at that, and it's deep. Look, look how deep that is. That's like, what, three, four, three, three, three and a half feet deep? It's crazy. If you had, this was like a little girl's room, obviously, right? You had a little girl and she woke up and she could sit up out of bed, just sit up and look out the window and see her horses in the paddock. I mean, really? This is an emotional place. You're going to get an emotional connection with this like I have uh, when you come see this property. And you're going to say, it is the perfect place. Remember, just call Jeremy and just say, don't hey, I want to see the perfect place. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm out of breath already, uh, which doesn't take much anymore these days. we got to go downstairs. Jeremy's down there with the clients. We're going to kick him out, get him up here. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to take you into the barn, show you the barn. Hold tight. Don't go away. All right, well, this is the basement, so come on down here. We're going to run on downstairs. I'm going to show you the basement. All right, so we can go this way or we can go this way. What do you think? All right, we're going to go this way. All right, look at this. So it's all VCT. That's a vinyl composite tile. I think it, that's what they call it. Um, and VCT, that's what they put like on a Walmart and stuff like that. You can buff it in, in hospitals. Buff it and buff it and buff it and buff it forever. That stuff is very durable. Or you can change it. It's cheap. Uh, but it, it, uh, it lasts a long time. It's really a heavy-duty floor. It's for commercial or industrial purposes. Can you believe this? Now, these are one foot. So let's, let me measure them real quick. Okay, thanks for being patient with me while I measure. It's 23 by 26 feet is this room. So if you got like a pool table, no problem. We got you covered. <laughs> We're always talking about that in our family. It's like, will it fit a pool table or whatever? You've got uh, poured walls, and you know how I feel about poured walls. Amazing. Far superior to any block construction, by far. And then uh, floor drain here, so if you get any water at all. Of course, they've got a beautiful setup here with uh, bridge decking. That's called bridge decking. And they poured concrete, I guess, or whatever on top of the bridge decking. So you're shedding the water, but if you do get any water, no problems. Water does not come in. And then you've got this crazy cool mechanical room with some kind of Jetsons water heater. I have no idea, but it's, yeah, it's 105 gallons. And here's the, this is, buddy, when you come and see this property, you need to come over here and you need to give it the old big Brad slap. You go, kapuya. When you feel that, then you realize that you're not messing with cinder block here. This is the real deal. Poured concrete, the only way to roll. Uh, heat pump, water system, I have no idea. They got some kind of special super duper filter there, but it's Whirlpool, so of course you can buy new filters later. Expansion tank, all that jazz. Jeremy can tell you about all that. And they got extra paint left over in case, you know, that I'm telling you they're persnickety. And so you got extra paint. Uh oh, I know what that means. You're making wine down here. That's hooch, man. You're making hooch or something. You know I make my own wine, so I know those are carboys for winemaking. They're wonderful, a lot of fun. You fill them up with change, you can fit like 
hundreds of dollars. You can go on a cruise or something. More storage under here. Really, it's silly how much room you got in this house, really. Another, this is your fourth bath, fourth full bath, look at that. And of course, a linen. That's huge, it's not just a little linen, that's, that's a two foot deep or three foot deep linen. And then another little office over here, maybe multi-generational again. How about a teenage kid? How cool would that be? Super huge closets. Let's, let's take a look. I'm trying to trick this guy and get one messy something, messy closet something. The barn, I'm gonna trick him in the barn, I promise. So here, this would be great. I got a 15 year old, he would love this. He'd have all the privacy in the world. He could put up some little beads here or something like Cheech and Chong beads or something. Anyway, another room, again, multi-generational. If you're living like that and you are looking for a place, this has got it. Perfect, perfect. Mom will go upstairs and then we'll go out to the barn. All right, so we're at the end of the driveway here. Can you imagine yourself in this perfect place? It's just, it's just the beginning of April. Well, he told me just pop. Well, obviously, I'm too stupid to figure that out. Okay. My mama never accused me of being that smart, I can tell you that. Okay. Oh, there we go. So I got this one closed and I'm opening this one. <laughs> That's all right. You don't mind, right? You don't mind. You just want to see in the barn. You don't care how I get there. Right? Remember that song from Alita Adams? I don't care how you get here. Just get here if you can. Oh, that's the way this, that's the way this is today. Stalls. I'll show you here. We got like 10 by 20s and 12 by 20s and folding stalls and, and this and that and everything else that I don't really know a ton about horses, but you'll know exactly what you need. This is two by six, tongue and groove, southern yellow pine on the walls. And you know that stuff is tough as nails. So this is all kick proof, so the horses can't kick. You got beautiful stall doors here. You probably saw the, the uh, still photographs already, so you know. That goes right on out so you can clean and muck. You got a hay mow over here. So this goes, in fact, this, go, this aisle goes all the way through. Look at that. Only an engineer would have like 17 wheelbarrows. Oh my gosh, like seriously? He's got that one, that's one of those expensive ones. Then he's got that one, that's an expensive one. Then he's got two more over here, that's three, that's four. That's four. And then you got three more here, that's like seven wheelbarrows. And they're like the big mama jama ones. What's that all about? I ain't asking any questions. And you got, you got your tack up here and the frost proof hydrant. You know how this works, right? You turn it on, the water comes up, you shut it off, it drains all the way out down to the foot. It's got a foot valve in there and drains out. So it can be as cold as it wants and it's never going to freeze. That's a big stall there. That's more than a 10 by 12. That's like a 10 by 20. And then these guys are like a 10 by 10 or 10 by 12. These doors open up to go in the back. I'm gonna guess, well, 14 foot ceiling or so. So you got plenty of room up there for hay and here too. And of course the hay is on over top of the animals. Keep it a little bit warmer. Skylights and all. These people take care of their animals like they take care of their house. Obviously, as you can see, look at this. There's, <laughs> this place is, uh, one of the cleanest barns I've been in in a long time. All lit, all power, so you got plenty of lights. But look at those, I don't know, they're not run-in sheds, they're actual stalls. But you could use them almost as a run-in shed with the skylights, makes it wonderful. 60 by 80 foot barn. My barn at my house is 40 by 60. This is double that, that's huge, that's a huge barn. But I don't have six or seven wheelbarrows. I feel so under wheelbarrowed. Are you with me? Thumbs up if you need more wheelbarrows. I do. Remember we talked a little bit earlier about, just before I run out, just two seconds here. Remember we talked about uh, emotional and uh, beautiful and perfect and all that stuff. Let's think about, did you grow up in a farm setting? I did. Do you have like amazing memories of playing in barns? 
I mean, for so many reasons. Uh, there's just so much fun and mischief to get into, playing up in the hay mouse and pushing that hay along and the smooth floors and, I don't know, just hanging out with the animals. And of course, the smell of horses is just fabulous. If you've got horses, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Can you imagine being able to give a barn like this to your kids for them to grow up in? 60 by 80 feet. There are tons of, tons of stalls, tons of adventures. And you got these mats down here on the floor. I mean, it's ready for your animals. Doesn't matter if you got llamas, horses, goats, whatever. You are ready to go with a barn like this. And 20 acres, 11 of which are fenced. All fenced, high tensile. You got power out here, you see the power box there. But let's go back to that emotional thing and just providing an amazing place for your kids to grow up. For me, it's a big deal to be able to give this uh, to my kids, to be able to uh, let them grow up in the country where there's not crazy things going on and hear sirens and all that stuff. We've been out here a couple hours, we haven't seen one car, uh, but you've got neighbors that are close enough by. If you got in trouble, you could make just one phone call and somebody to watch the place when you're not here. You got the woods over there, nothing better than adventures in the woods. There's a creek in the back. You got the creek, you got the horses, anyway, and a huge house. Come visit us, come see what it's like to live in this part of Kentucky. You're just 10 minutes to a Dollar General uh, in one direction, 10 minutes to a Dollar General in another direction. Uh, you're probably uh, uh, 15 miles to a big grocery store. Uh, 15, 20 miles to big shopping. I mean, big shopping, you know, like malls and things like that. Uh, 20, 30 minutes to Somer Somerset, uh, where Lake Cumberland is, 64,000 acre lake. Do you like to boat? Do you like to jet ski? Do you like to fish? We go fishing down the boat down there. It's just fantastic. And that's just half an hour away. What more do you need? You got high speed internet, real high speed. You got AT&T LTE, which is the currently the fastest uh, cell service and privacy, poured walls in your basement. Anyway, it's the perfect place. Enough preaching from me. Just give us a call. And if this isn't right for you, get on our mailing list and you'll know about properties like this. It'll come right to your inbox. New properties, new listings. And isn't that what you want? You don't want to compete against everyone else. You just sign up for our email right here. It's simple, it's fast, couple questions. And you can unsubscribe with one click anytime. And come see this perfect farm. The sellers here call this place peace. Yeah, right. There you go. The heck is that? 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 You got orange and pink lights up there. Don't ask. I'm not asking. We get into the bathrooms. Gets, uh, you know, gets a little sometimes like that. You know what I mean? So I don't ask any questions.